Hello boys and girls of the internet, and allow me to introduce you to the Panos DP01 in Assetto Corsa. I was only made known of this car a few hours ago, and this car has only been live for a couple of days now. In the making of my last Assetto Corsa video, I basically looked up and down throughout the internet to find every single indie car slash champ car slash indie racing car mod that I can find for a Assetto Corsa. Today, I received a comment on that video with a list of mods that that commenter used. And at the top of that list, is the Chump Car 2008. Now that jumped out at me because for a very long time I've been looking for the DP01 on a set of Corsa but it's never been made until today. This mod was uh, made by the creator Sim Racing 74 on Facebook. The link for this mod will be inside the description below and it is free. As, as it looks from now, as of the point of this recording, this is the only place that I can find this car. So I assume he is the originator or the maker or the person who has ported this because this can most likely, I can say 100% this could be a port from the IDT mod for R Factor. But regardless, there is the Champ Car, the DP01 on Assetto Corsa. Although the mod is named Champ Car 2008, it's pretty much Champ Car 2007. All of the liveries are the Champ Car 2007 liveries. You can tell if you look at the Aussie Vineyards car, it's using the livery from the 2007 season instead of the uh, 2008 livery that they used in the one Long Beach Grand Prix race that they ran that year. It comes with several other official liveries. It also comes with a couple of liveries that never existed before, including this Monster Energy one. But if you are a Sebastian Bourdais, Graham Rahal, uh, if you're a fan of KV Racing, Aussie Vineyards, Willpower, uh, you will be excited to see that they have your driver. When you get on track with this car, you may have to do some tweaks with the force feedback on your wheel and in-game as with any car. And one of my big complaints with this car is how airy it feels, how light it feels. You don't really feel the weight of the car. The car feels the same weight around any part of the track. There's not much energy transfer in the car mechanics. This car also doesn't have the power kick that you would expect from a champ car. In fact, the car is pretty standard on its acceleration. The only time I've had to opposite stare is on the exit of a corner, not because of the power push down, but because of understeer on the entry to the corner. This car has a understeer tendency. The front tires don't have as much grip. So a lot of times you can find yourself turning the wheel a little bit too much on the exit and that being the only time that you have to correct yourself back the opposite direction. But for an IndyCar fan, I mean really a Champ Car fan, uh, this will be a great blast of the past. Even if the mechanics or the sound don't fit your expectations uh, 100%, I think it would, it would bring some great nostalgic value, especially considering this car is uh, absolutely free. Let me know if any of you have seen this mod before, if you've tried it before. As of this recording, as of me recording this audio, I have not seen anybody else upload a video on this on YouTube. I may be the first and nobody beats me to it on editing. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. If you haven't seen my previous Assetto Corsa video, it will be on the end screen where I talk about six IndyCar mods that you need to have as well as linking a ton more mods for you to try out on a set of courses. This is Drayden from DK Media, and I'll see you in the next one.